All right. It's the first few frames of video of our trip. Taking a trip where? Poland. And where else? Riga. Okay, okay. All right, Dolly. Bon voyage. So this is the parking lot. And it goes, it snakes around two or three different parking lots. And it's so full. Toronto's crowded. A lot of people. It's only 544. So we got plenty of time. Our flight's not till 10. I'm gonna follow Harry. Harry's gotta move his van. Enjoying it so far. You need me to scratch your back? Scratch my back, my left shoulder blade, please. Well, you're gonna have to stop. Left shoulder blade? It's harder, down, down, left. I always get it. I always get her itchy spot. We went from one end all the way down to the other and before we decided, hey, maybe we should look at this map. <laughs> and the map tells you perfectly where it is. And that's what you want. It's a gorgeous airport. The lines on this side, they're way shorter. Are you supposed to be videotaping in an airport? Is that okay? <laughs> so we've been just sitting here. They don't do anything. I had a private thought. I'll tell you later. People shrink wrap their suitcases here. They know what they're doing. It's not their first time at the rodeo. <laughs> Ours are easy pickings though. <laughs> easy pickings. <laughs> We made it through security, yeah, baby doll? Uh, and now we're in Africa. Yeah. Airports just do it for me. They're so they're so inspiring. It's like just the architecture always leading you up and out and away. Whoa. Say something, Dolly. Say something, Dolly. We're going to Poland. This is nuts. See, this okay. is this is always for me the best part of the trip is the traveling, like the the bars. So this is always the first milestone of the trip, having a nice relax in the airport. Do you want your mommy or do you want your edamame? Oh, you got a nice steak, yeah? Yeah, baby. Enjoy. It's a pretty posh waiting area. It's instead of like the usual just seats, they have these marble bars. It's like a mall with its own set of uh, stores and stuff like that. So what are you hoping to get out of this trip? Some time with you. Um, some knowledge about my ancestors. Good food. <laughs> and lots of exercise. I want to um, try not to shoehorn the memory I have of everyone when they were 15, 16, 17 years old, and try, you know, we have a tendency to shoehorn people, our memory of them from 30 years ago into who they are today. It's unnecessary. It's like a rediscovery of somebody new. That's my challenge. I want to feel something of what it might have been like to be a Viktor Frankl in Auschwitz, trying his best to make sense, to make meaning out of the absurd atrocities that he's experiencing.
Uh, you said this is the largest plane you've ever been on, a lot like the biggest plane. Okay. It's definitely the most expensive plane you've ever been on. <laughs> $3,000 for these tickets. This isn't, this isn't no Cancun. This ain't no goddamn Orlando trip. like this before? No. <laughs> Follow everyone out. Yeah. We'll be back here. We're gonna hang on, boo-boo. Well, we had to run from one plane to the other, but we made it. 
little tiny. just works and I Ubered a ride to my hotel which is like I don't know how long 20 minutes away and it cost nine dollars and 42 cents he says he's gonna be here in two minutes he's not here yet so how do you like Poland so far I think that's how they would say it they'd say my gusta you so I have to... Uh, Jinkuya. 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 Not Jinkuyu. That's not like Jakuyu. Jakuyu pa ukrainski, a pa belaruski Jakuy. Jakuy. Similar words. A pa baruski spasiba. Ina zaslu, ina zavu. So no, drugo kor. Ukrainski ja znajem nemnoška toža, pa to mušto u mnja je da drug. Ukrainski drug. A u mnja drug v New Yorku. Да? Да. Мы учились вместе, мы были программистами, но это был развал Советского Союза, 92 год. А, в городе Нью-Йорк? Сейчас уже не в самом Нью-Йорке, но он там уже, ой, 20, 23, 23 лет. 23 лет, да. Все, кто поехали программистами, все там остались. Я не поехал, у меня тоже контракт был. А. And you want to start your own business. It's a small. Yeah. Main task children. Ah. And freedom in the city, in this country. Yeah. There is no freedom. You have children? Yeah. And they live here in Poland? Or yeah, they're... Так, сын два лета, two years. Football player. Oh, yeah? Football player. Daughter, 25. How do you like in your Uber ride, baby? Love it. You want to speak some Polish? Uh, I don't know any Polish. You want to speak some Russian? <laughs> I don't know any Russian either. You want to speak some English? Sure. Okay. So it's about a 35-minute ride to the to the middle of. Uh, Almost to the middle of Krakow. Or they say Krakow, yeah? Krakow? Krakow. 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 We are in Krakow. No, it's a город Krakow. Gorod Krakow. Restaurants? Restaurants. Yeah. Brazil Republic. Brazil. Brazil. Oh, Groot. Grazilka. Gruzin. Oh, Gruzin. Georgia. Kitchen. Like from Georgian. Georgia. Kitchen. Yeah. Pangilsko Georgia. Shashlik. Tak, shashlik. Shashlik. Hinkali, Hachapuri, Chacha. Taki slogan. What's this guy doing? Driving up on the road. 
or driving up on the sidewalk. tight streets. There's the old city there. Wow. Oh, wow. I only got you accommodations in the very best part of town, Dolly. Uh, I'm hoping so. <laughs> Oh, we have a nice tree and some grass. Oh, yeah. Boy, they gave us a... Uh, this backs right up to a... Uh, oh, this backs right up to a courtyard. That is nice. There's hummus and happiness across the street. I don't know if that's a daycare over there or what's going on. Oh, nice. So here we are. We made it. Thank you very much. Maya Polskaya. <laughs> oh, say. it's nice. <laughs> it's sterilized. Mommy like. <laughs> nice little place. Oh. And hot water runs wow. through that. That's like a radiator. Maybe oh. we can hang our towels on it and they'll come out warm. I've caught something on fire doing that in college, so we won't be doing that. Slopey! Slopey, slopey! Slopey girl! <laughs> 
She's a zlot. Zlots are dollar. Zlots are the Polish dollars. Yeah. I'm seeing this is their universal exit sign. Get your nice new sandals. Yeah. Show me how they work. They got a nice little back deck out there. gonna feel our way to kind of have an adventure and uh, there's a lot of these row like buildings four-story buildings and uh, this is the Jewish section of town and we're gonna try to we're gonna have some dinner tonight and listen to some klezmer music while we're having dinner Oh, we got diverted from our mission. Something happened. Something happened here. Nice looking sweets. What is it? Looks like a prosciutto or some kind of fatty meat. Jeez. Wow, look at that commitment to poppy seeds. That's poppy seeds. That's how you do poppy seeds. Look at this. These are these are just exactly how you get punchki on a punchki day. Yeah. They're fried on the top and on the bottom. Yeah. Punchki, whatever they. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, let's take a walk. So we're learning that how you navigate the streets is pretty cool. You just step out into the street and everybody has to stop for you. I like that arrangement. I like it. I wasn't sure how that was working. But that's exactly how it's worked. Okay, go Okay. Knocking in a Polish top, yo. Sweet. So Marjorie's wondering how do these um, garbage things get cleaned out? Oh look, the inner the inside comes out. I think. No, it's solid in there. How do they get that out? They just must go in there and grab it. Wow. That's a commitment to clean. It's a shitty job. There's this uh, pretty domed church. Get my, get my shoes, get my shoes, babe. <laughs> yeah, babe. But I miss the domed church now. Right. Well, now we're about to cross over into Old Town. From Jewish Town to Old Town. And it looks inviting. Yeah, it does. Oh, you have segways. It's kind of wicked. Yeah. People are zooming around on those. <laughs> A lot of bikes in this town, huh? So we just got uh, about $150 worth of Zwoti. Doesn't say what's left. But you can get your balance another time. All right. Oh, I guess it's just what they have, and you can play it.
garlic and onions too. It smells amazing. Like this, swords and axes and all kinds of stuff. Oh, this is wicked, babe. It's a beer opener. Raspberry juice in my beer. That's a kind of a neat. Good. It's a nice little shandy. I'm gonna go check out this grill and these. I'll be right here. It's made from uh, sunflower seeds, and they've got all different flavors of it. Chili <laughs> These guys are all over. And they dive bomb you. Grillo. Grilled cheese with cranberry. Are you enjoying your piva? Sure, yeah. Love it. Do those mushrooms and potatoes look good? our ground we didn't buy any food because we want to get an appetite going for later Sorry, baby. and then we're gonna come back here and throw down in a day or two oh, I thought we were coming right after the restaurant nope you guessed wrong what's that called double dash ding dong what's it called bang bang all right we tried to hold out but we we couldn't. We had to get this. That just looked Whatever too good. this is. It's very small. Six. So that's like fuck fifty. Yeah. And everybody just gathers around a garbage can wow. and eats their food. Good. Good stuff. The smoke. Yeah. Mm. The cheese. The first thing I hit you is smoke. Yeah. And then this cheese squeaks in your mouth as you chew, mm -hmm. chew it. It makes a squeak noise. It's like a um, cheese curd or a mozzarella. So we just emerged from that square. And now we're going to go explore the rest of the old town, which is a lot of bicyclists and taxis and electric bikes and we're gonna go around the front of this church over here i just can't believe what great pictures this video camera takes look there's a dog uh, whose dog is that he's calling him okay there's a whole square around this church
Look at that little weasel. Oh. Uh, this fella. There's a hard rock cafe here. Here's a statue that moves. And there's birds all over. I don't know if I'm picking up any of this. It's incredible. So now this is a square. Holy sugar. Little. Well, I can see why this is the place for tourists to come. This is very inviting, very hospitable, and very beautiful, and very affordable. I'm just getting the biggest kick out of these birds. And the fact that I'm recording this at 2.7 Hey, means every bird's being picked up. Flowers being sold. As far as the eye can see, you just see beautiful things here. Oh, this is where they have the concerts. Bells are ringing. We gotta, we gotta check that one out over there. Look at that building. Holy sugar. Gorgeous. It's great. I don't think people would believe we what we're seeing here. Is this a wonderland? Everywhere you turn, there's just all these beautiful new discoveries. There's these family crests. Maybe this is where we discover your family. All on those, all on the walls. Gorgeous. Yeah, I can see. So they're just serving people out of these restaurants. Yeah. Yeah. All the different restaurants have an outdoor. Section here. That's a cool idea. Certainly feels like the place to be. This is a Harley Davidson brand over there. Oh no, I didn't. Uh, I just wasn't running the entire time. Oh my gosh. I don't know how much of that I got. Probably not cat. much. There's literally a cat right there. Where? Right here. Oh, there's a cat on the bench. Hi, buddy. I think it keeps running out of battery is the problem. Oh, uh, okay. And it, it keeps stopping because it's running out of battery. Yeah. Beautiful ceramics. A bosom one? Yeah, for her sister. <laughs> she would like that. Get a shot of these. 
these wonderful little Girl Scouts go to a restaurant where they play klezmer music. It's an old Jewish part of town. Oh my gosh. Where does he belong? There you go. Oh, it's hers. She's stopping. There's no abandoned dogs here. You know where we could go is Rome. Wow. And see all of the, or Moscow, and see all of the like abandoned dogs. I'm not going to Russia. They nab people. They say they're spies. That's a kidnapping joint. It's, they say they're spies. That one guy just was a uh, citizen of the U.S. He went over there. They nabbed him. He's been in jail for 18 months. Yeah, saying he's, he's a spy. Yeah, All right. Well, we'll stay out of Russia. Yeah, we'll this stay is like Russia. this is Russia light. Yeah. Right here. Yeah, we're gonna go down this road here. I forget the name of it. Well, or something. Swazisnest right That's what that one is. So all you gotta do if you want a car to stop is just step right out and they have to stop for you. That's kind of cool. We got across the street, we didn't even have to wait. We just walked. Pretty amazing. Apteka. Apteka. Apteka, that means pharmacy or drugstore. Oh. I wanted to go. Look at this little rascal. Look at this little weasel. They're pet friendly. Yeah. See, I just, I love all these little tucked away, like, courtyards and stuff all over. And then yeah. there's like a little pub tucked back behind this little alley. You can go in there and have a drink tonight. How's that sound? to Liverpool versus Tottenham. So we're gonna watch our soccer game. It's right down the road from our place. Pretty cool, babe. We got a good location. I also found out that if I cover up these holes, here, I should hold it like this so I don't cover up the holes. Silly little Polish girls. Charming little back streets everywhere. Salamaria. Like that salamaria? <laughs> Wanna get some salami? <laughs> I think what you and I did earlier today could be okay, considered okay. <laughs> a salamaria. <laughs> and there should be the klezmer hoys. We're in the Jewish part of town. Krakow in Poland in general has this, what is this, a missile, a grenade launcher. What's that doing there? It's a lot of graffiti around here. They have a heritage here of Jewish culture that they like to maintain. So we're gonna get a taste of it tonight. So like I was saying, here's an example. Like this is all Hebrew up on here. I have no idea what it's saying. What they've done for decades here cultivating Jewish heritage. Wood. Games Workshop. Mm -hmm. so, oh, sort of games and elves. And... All right, let me check my map to make sure we yeah. went down the wrong street here, or yeah. the right street. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, we've tripped around the cobblestones and this is it, we found it. We just can't find the front door. Yeah. Oh, here we go. I wish I smoked cigarettes. This would be so much better. Well, you can always start, but you're only 49. You can always start? Yeah. All right, let's do it. You and me. <laughs> no, thank you. you. Want some hummus? Yeah. It says, make hummus, not war. Would you like to make hummus? So I ended up ordering a mulled beer. Beer with clove and ginger and rum and all kinds of amazing stuff. It's all the other ingredients. Oh, raisins and dates. They serve it hot. Here's your lamb kebab. 
pretty amazing. I'm loving my hummus, which has all kind of Israeli uh, updates on it. Turn up. But on Sunday, we're gonna get traditional European Jewish food, like the filter fish and matzo ball soup. I think we should go shopping and get you some water and some pajamas. I I can't. You want me I to make a run for it. you? No, I don't want you to leave me in a strange city. No. I think we should go shopping and get you some water and some pajamas. I I, I can't. You want me I to make a run for it. you? No, I don't want you to leave me in a strange city. No. So how much did we pay for that lovely meal of Israeli hummus and lamb shish kebab and mulled beer, hot mulled beer and Spring water. water and dessert thirty dollars i'm just figuring out now that that's where we had dinner last night right there the hamsa hummus and happiness resto bar and i think we were there walking around yesterday It's such a thoughtful little breakfast that has so many elements to it that are um, really peculiar. They have hot milk for the coffee, mm. which I really enjoyed. And they have these beautiful little button mushrooms. And they have three different kinds of mustard. <laughs> that just delights me. Yeah, beautiful day. It's going to be today. 70. We're from Buffalo. It's okay. a small city in New York State. Okay, New York State. So it's north, right? Yeah. So US. Yeah, we're up by the Great Lakes. My uncle, he is, he go there. He, he he goes there every year for fishing somewhere in New York go State. Oh, he goes to the Great Lakes for fishing. Somewhere, somewhere in this area, but I don't know exactly where. That's cool. <laughs> Yeah, I know it's one of the best places to catch uh, certain kinds of fish. <laughs> uh, we should start our tour probably like half past nine, okay? So like one hour, 45 minutes in Auschwitz one. Later you will have like 10 minutes break and we are going to Birkenau Camp. Birkenau Camp, it's like just um, three minutes away from Auschwitz one. And in Birkenau you will spend next to one hour. After this, we will make a short break for lunch and we are going to the salt mine. Auschwitz was the largest camp complex of the Nazi era. It also contained over 40 subcamps located primarily near German industrial plants. For more than four decades, this container held film footage showing the liberation of Auschwitz concentration camp. A shortened 18 minute version of this film was distributed as evidence of Nazi crimes. Much of the footage is the work of Alexander Vorontsov, a Soviet cameraman who received numerous medals for his coverage of various military operations. At the time of this interview, Vorontsov was the only living Soviet cameraman who had filmed the liberation of the Auschwitz camp. 26-year-old Spatz, a Jew from Hungary, was infected with leprosy. Good point. Yeah, I... Were you expecting the video, no? I thought there were some interesting facts in there. Yeah. And uh, it was also interesting to hear them talk about some of the staged film. If you want something about Auschwitz, like Testimony of Prisoner, I would go for that one. Uh, uh, the reason I asked is because my maiden name is Borowski. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, he writes it really honest. Uh, you can, it's not like anything uh, colored, really dark, uh, really dark story, but 100% uh, fun. But Tudor Borowski wrote a book that is required reading in high school. Something about um, this way to the gas, this way for the gas, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, I'm proud. Abrowski did something good. Yay! <laughs> Is this 
sushi bar and I walked down this hill and this is a big sign that says for seven o'clock. It's sushi bar. Did you eat it off a woman? <laughs> That's considered very naughty in Japan, I heard. Was on this, you can see the big sign on the woman lying down. I did. Oh. I should have taken a picture. Actually. Does it change the taste? So that's what I want to know. Depends where you eat from. <laughs> Sorry, that was. I'm glad I left that knife. of the camp.
another Borowski. Oh yeah. Everyone had somebody. That's what she said. Every single poll. Three furnaces when it was destroyed at Antwerp to rebuild from the original temple public.
en allemand. This is the oldest part of our of the camp. You see the original building. Only two of them are open. Um, <laughs> Oh, is it? Well, that one's 45. I mean, when I'm set 18. Like 2018? Yeah. Ready like half past one, okay? Over there you will find the bench you can sit in front of this building. Cheese sandwich. Cheese? <laughs> cheese. Just cheese? No meat? Is it good cheese? Uh oh, and you got some, you got some, uh, That's good. Yeah. So we just been touring concentration camps, and now we're about to go underground for a salt mine in 25 minutes. No rest for the wicked. So now we are at the salt mines. We're done, we're done with concentration camps, and now in order to really experience some claustrophobia oh. and a, a little less sinister but no less da dangerous um, is going to be the salt mine. We're going to go 380 <laughs> steps down into the bowels of the earth. We're going to try. I can't promise anything. Do my best. I couldn't do the gas chamber so I don't know. <laughs> These, uh, but the gas chambers <laughs> had uh, uh, more of a... No, it was the claustrophobia. <laughs> really? <laughs> all right. She's, she's actually just all about But if, if I have to leave, I'll just be right here. Just continue you on. can't push through it? I mean, I'm not sure. I'm going to see what I can do. Push through it, baby. <laughs> Try, babe. You can do it. If it gets real bad, just close your eyes and hold on to my sleeve. Will that help? No. So these are all from the uh that's my watch i actually have that watch at home oh yeah follow me that's where he lives that's his but that's his uh, violin yeah it's my pipe so what is this you got here okay jesus <laughs> saves <laughs> Yeah. 
How are you doing so far? Stuff that from happening in the hotels. Oh, nice. Did you know no, I just figured that was. So we can put the edible salt. You can lick, you can eat as much salt as possible from Hungary to Poland, brought by Kinka's Golden Engagement Ring. In half an hour, we will meet the main attraction, big temple dedicated to Megunda. You can split some pieces of salt and try what the salt tastes salty or not. That will taste awful. It tastes very salty, very salty. Yeah? This one? Mm. And horses will catch on the ground, they didn't get flying. But everybody are looking at two salt blocks laying on the floor. So we have a certain century where they were fixed in one of the people where they found this whole world. So this moment salt steps down at 20 years ago, sooner or later. Century. So in the 17th century, miners cut out this chamber only 250 steps. But during the night, at the midnight, awake, working like rich miners.
I told you that we were going to a salt mine, we were a little worried about claustrophobia. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, I can't wait to show my dad. Yeah? I mean, the feats of human engineering it are just crazy. Our guide is pretty funny. He's got a lot of jokes. Yeah, he is funny. I keep missing all the jokes because I'll, I'll stop recording and then he'll say a joke like, and this is all very impressive. Let's go to the next room. Mm -hmm. Going to the salt toilet. Yeah. Looking at the last lake, later on five meters up, I will show you the highest chamber on the way, 36 meters, where we dragged two men of them were sitting in the boat. Should be maximum 35, but they were 55, 20 too many. Suddenly the boat capsized to offer and seven of them gone. They <laughs> Forty-six meter high ceiling. Mm. We're losing. I made it, baby. I love that we almost never know what we're doing <laughs> at any point or what's about to happen. But none of it seems planned, right? Like, does this seem like he's taking us somewhere? Right, 135 meters deep now. Well, we have emerged back, back into the sunshine and birds. Ja wam przepnę jeszcze. Uwaga. Piotrek idzie. Poszło. Przepan, trzymaj. Dobra. So are we headed, Dali? Dragon Festival. And uh, we're just following the stream of traffic. Everybody's... We're hoping that it goes there. I think people know. No shortage of beautiful things to see everywhere we turn. That building behind us, and then 
Sorry, we're not in the crosswalk. Oh, oh, careful. Back, back, back up, back up. Um, something about a, there's a dragon. I think we're going to see the story of the legend if we go there because they have a big movie screen set up and they're going to play like a movie. Okay. It's the castle, the beautiful castle from which this dragon's legend is named. I forget the name of the castle. It's like Wowshik or Wajwik, Wawik, Wawik Castle. I should know things. I haven't done my homework. Well, now we've ended up in the middle of a uh, little carnival set up on the street. Oh, there's a whole bunch of people gathering here. All right, go in there then. just plunged my sneaker about a foot deep into mud. This video of fireworks. The dragons have gone over here. Wow! Guys got a little too close to pop out. <laughs> That's so cool.
Okay, weren't the stairs over there? No, we don't want to use the stairs. That was silly. Okay. There's no point in using it if you're not going to stay up there. Gotcha. And watch the show from an amazing vantage point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. There's a cool... Uh, there's a mob of soccer hooligans behind us who won't get out of the way for a car. Maybe we should get out of the way for the car? Well, when it breaks through, yeah. All right. We'll use the sidewalk now. We'll play by the rules. I know you like that. This group of drunken kids is pretty funny. Dressed up as a straw man from Wizard of Oz. Glenn, shut up. Boys, boys, everybody. Boys, boys. Some glitter kids, exchange students, born. Reminds me of St. Stan's over on the east side. Well, we trekked back and we're exhausted and thirsty. And there, here's something we've never done anywhere. I've never done this in my life, raid the mini bar. But these prices are nuts. So five zloty is a, like a buck and a quarter for a Coke. And mineral water out of this bar is free of charge. Holy crow. So here's a nice beer, two nice beers. The beer is seven zloty, so that's two bucks. It's a buck seventy-five. Yeah. That's nothing yeah. for mini bar prices. Where's there a Gin is yeah. is two dollars and sixty cents. Vodka's two dollars and sixty cents. Three bucks. Three bucks. Alcohol's cheap in this country. Oh, red wine. That's expensive. How much is that? That's uh, four bucks. Three, three, three something. But it's nothing. If we had gone out to a, uh, right. a thing. Well, oh, it's a Shiraz. Oh, here's a, here's a beer opener. All right, I'm gonna have a beer and a wine. Come back to me, Salty. You worried about Salty? Yeah. What's the matter with her? She hasn't gone number two in a couple of days. Hello. Good morning. Well, one more day in Poland awaits us. <clears throat> We're gonna go hang out at Oscar Schindler's factory. It's a museum now. I keep covering up the uh, microphone. Oh, you got sunscreen on. It makes you glisten. So we're going deeper today into the Jewish quadrant. We're gonna check out Oscar Schindler's factory museum. I don't know what this is. Marjorie's worrying about her little weasel. The Galicia Jewish Museum. No? No. What's no. different about it's these? Like a cross between some type of conifer and those prehistoric little grasses that grow where we live. Oh, it's more like a. It's not woody, it's more like a grass, yeah. Running.
for uh, an emergency uh, life ring. Ah, there it is. We're gonna go see the Schindler Museum. Gotta follow this exit. There's no traffic control devices. Just step out. Step out when you're ready, and people will stop for you. That's how it works. That's a decent system. It's pretty simple, probably a lot less expensive too. You have a pedestrian underpass to what is like a major railway station. There's a lot more ways to walk than drive here. I like that. Yeah, it seems like people mostly walk here. It's kind of dark, nasty tunnel. If you want, we can come back to here yeah. and visit the Museum of Contemporary Art. Yeah, let's see how we feel. It's very close. Ooh, nice stained glass. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the employees. Some of the employees, maybe, yeah. Oh, I would imagine those people who saved. Yeah, that you got saved. got tickets to the Krakow Museum. Okay, I'll be right out. All right, you're going to go to the bathroom? Yeah. Okay, see you in a bit. This is when Hitler took over. I mean, if your hat has the skull and bones on it, you're not the good guys. Bobby, if we had Saina Koritas, Nadu, Chubici, Jagiellonski, Stavi Ciangeru, and Tom Nazapakovano, and Zabi Jono na Montelu. life in the Jewish ghetto. They built a wall around the city. They shaped the wall. Each segment of the wall was shaped with a tombstone motif, as if to suggest that the ghetto was a mass grave. This is 
is what they made, yeah? Yeah, Browski isn't there. Are these people who, uh... Never be a fucking sitting duck. Look at these guys. I'm an artist. Just go fuck yourself. Again, if this is your guard's uniform, you must know you're not fighting for good in the world. Are they under arrest? Are they happy the Germans are here? The smiles on their faces. Oh, death is coming. People exercising by the river, the Vista River. There's a lot of little wooden toys around, but I don't know if that's because the tourists bought them or that's what Polish kids like to play on is wooden toys. You just don't know. Yeah. What do you know? Nothing. That's our room? that's our room right there. And uh, where is the brown building? Yeah, our window doesn't open like that though. I know we're down another level. Oh, okay, and if you look out our window, you can see this sign right here. I said we eat here. No, we've been here, we've done that. All right. uh, I want hummus it over and over kind of experiences. Had. You have to embrace the uncertain. All right, is this the place? Oh, no. pleasant part of the city. The Jewish community center over there. There's craft beer over there. And yellow bikes here. They have a wine named Alchemia. I just ordered it. I'll be curious to see what that's like. Marjorie's looking up information about what to do when your dog eats a sock. Because what did Salty eat? My crotch out of my panties. And now the kennel is reporting that she didn't go number two yet. So they're gonna give her pumpkin to eat and if she doesn't go today, they're gonna send her to the vet. Marjorie's very upset and preoccupied. And now she's reading all about what to do with a dog that eats a sock. One outcome you really hope to avoid is an intestinal obstruction where the sock lodges somewhere in the intestines causing a, blo a blockage. Obstruction is a serious and requires surgery to remove the item. The tricky thing about the intestinal obstruction is you might not This is how I deal with my anxiety right here. I got a nice Thank primitivo. <laughs> it's all going in both stomachs. Jinkuya. Do you need ketchup? Sure. Thank you. Beautiful. I guess you're supposed to take photographs of your food. That's the thing to do. So this is like a. Uh, flea market that got just looks like it's packing up though everybody's bringing like used thrift clothes oh those shoes look new some bags it looks like it's all 
packed up for the day. And then everybody's bellying up to these little kiosks to get some food. And it's like big sandwich boards filled with caprese. Those look good. But our lunch was a little nicer, I think. Yeah. Look at the size of them. Oh, this is a, has the same stall that meat sandwich we had. Yeah. Is there anything you like? Yeah, this is sweet. I bet you could pick it up for a song. One thing I've noticed is the people that live here are like dressed really nice. Yeah, they do. Then with our last remaining few little Zloty coins, <laughs> we got a Coke and a beer. Both priced the same. It's interesting. Here I've made my own little beer commercial. So this is Google Translate. They have a camera mode. You hold the camera up to anything that's got Polish written on it, and it starts just uh, attempting to translate it for you. It's crazy. So, <laughs> are you okay with me having salt to get that operation? I mean, I'm gonna do it anyways, but what, what's your take on it? I mean, if she's suffering and getting close to death, fine, but I gotta think they're gonna give her a laxative before they're gonna do surgery. Yeah, yeah. Babu. I need them. They're good to you. It's a good system. Want to get it? Then you put it in here, and it makes all the all the lights turn on. Fans and lights and air conditioning work. Not oh, jeez. <laughs> so we're going live here. Mm -hmm. This is actually working. I got a couple minutes here in Krakow to uh, see if my technology is sufficient to um, stream video. We're gonna have a reunion in Riga, Latvia on Wednesday. And anybody that wants to get in on that, I think this will be a good way to do it. And um, it just turns out that my camera's compatible here with uh, um, Facebook, so it's not a very good view, is it? Here, here's a better view. Yeah. Beautiful city of Krakow, Poland. All right, well, that tests it out. Thanks for checking it out. See you Wednesday. I'm gonna turn this damn thing off. So right around the corner from our hotel is this little courtyard filled with uh, traditional Jewish restaurants with traditional Jewish music. Did you notice that there was a hat outside one of those restaurants? I wonder if that's out of respect. A hat? Uh, Looks like it's someone's hat. I don't know. 
Maybe they, somebody found it on the ground and they set it there. Wait. What? There's a book. That's it. Makes no sense. Maybe mm -hmm. that somebody dropped their book on the ground. Mm -hmm. Rather than just kick it around on the ground, they set it up on the window. So. Okay. It's like all these places have uh, live music going on in them. It's nice. So we were on the other side of this. Osteria Klesmerhoys. But we got a few minutes yet, so shall we just walk up and down the plaza here? Yeah, and Italian food. Oh, very. Uh, yeah, nice. no, we're going to have dinner down that way. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. This is nice. Have a Nagila stuff going on down here. Ooh, that's a big hole. This is the Ariel restaurant. I'm glad this thing has image stabilization because I'm tripping all over these cobblestones. Oh, yeah. This is crazy. <laughs>